Hi, in this tutorial I'll be teaching you how to prepare your point cloud file for creating a canopy hive model. So first of all I will load my file by clicking here and open the point cloud file, LAS file. I will apply all the preset configurations and click yes here. It will take a while to load. This is a 1.4 gigabytes file. All right, so this is a point cloud from UAS imagery. This point cloud was recreated using structure from motion. And those are some experimental fields. We see those plants are corn plants. And first of all, what we want to do was to crop the point cloud so we have in our file only the region that we're interested in. So I will start by drawing a polyline by clicking here with this symbol. Trace a polyline by pointing and picking. So I click here and once. And with that, I can start uh, drawing my polyline. I do a right click to move the points. And so my first point, I want to start in this corner. I click here once. And you see this uh, green line forming when you click it. I click it here at my third point, second point. Here my third point, fourth, then I close it by clicking very close to the first one. With that I do a right click and I finish my polygon. I click here at this green check sign and with that my polyline is finished. And you will see it here, polyline. So I will crop this point cloud using this polar line. So I will select the point cloud. You will see a lot of options uh, showing up here. I will click at the scissor to crop my point cloud. And then this, this tool allows you to draw your own line, but you can also load and import a polyline here. So I can click right here and use existing polyline and now use the polyline that is already loaded. So this is an interesting tool because if you have multiple multiple files from the same area you can just keep this polyline and just draw it once and you import it to import it to all the others uh, all the other images point clouds that you'll be using. Okay, the polyline is loaded. You see this weird line here? You just do a right click so it disappears. And then we will click here in this polygon, which is red inside, so we can segment in. We click it once. And then it will show how the segmentation will be. And we click the green check mark to confirm the segmentation. 
once we confirm it will load two polyline I'm um, sorry two point clouds one is the segmented and the other one is the cl uh, is the remaining point so this one we can delete because we're only dealing with the segmented one and I'll click here so we can see it the next thing I will do is clean some uh, outliers by doing a section uh, creating a section of our point cloud. So I'll just uh, change the angle of view by clicking here. You see a lot of noise we have here. So here's the soil and the plants and we don't want this this noise on our point cloud. So I click on the section tool, so cross section, and with that I will click and drag this arrow and bring it closer to the soil and I'll drop it and then you can just look at it from different angles and we'll see we're uh, getting rid of all the that noise once I did that I'll click here on the slice and the first slice it will export a selection the selection is a new cloud I click it here once it will export. So I see it's showing up here. I close this with a window and I can delete the, the previous one. Now we only have a point cloud with, um, with the points that we want on it. So this is how we prepare a point cloud for uh, creating a canopy hive model. Please watch the next video where I will show you the next steps for creating a terrain model and finally get in the to the canopy height model. Stay tuned.